Hello each and everyone this is Ankita your commerce educator welcoming you to global online where we are taking classes for net and set exam preparation in today's lecture i'm going to discuss 10 most important or a most accepted mcq on risk and return analysis under business finance unit this is a one of the most important topic under this unit so please don't skip this video ye lecture dekhne ke baad आपके जो सारे डाउट है रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक वो सारे के सारे क्लियर हो जाएंगे और आपको ये भी पता चल जाएगा कि किस तरह के क्वेश्चन एग्जाम में पूछे जाते हैं और किस तरह से आपको उन्हें आंसर करना है ओके ये लेक्चर देखने के बाद अगर आपके जो सारे डाउट है वो क्लियर हुए या नहीं ये देखने के लिए हम आपके लिए लेकर आए हैं फ्री इवेल्यूशन टेस्ट ये टेस्ट देने के लिए आपको हमारा जो ऐप है ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन वो अपने प्ले स्टोर से डाउनलोड करना पड़ेगा जहां पर आपको ये लोगो दिखेगा डाउनलोड करने के बाद आपको उसके स्टोर में जाना है और अपना जो पेपर है यूजीसी नेट कॉमर्स पेपर टू वो सिलेक्ट करना है सिलेक्ट करने के बाद उसके कंटेंट में जाना है और कंटेंट में जाने के बाद आपको जो टेस्ट है वो मिल जाएगा ये जो टेस्ट है वो सभी स्टूडेंट के लिए फ्री है ओके और एक एक और एक इम्पोर्टेंट बात ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन आपके लिए लेकर आया है कॉमर्स पेपर टू कोर्स जहां पर आपको मिलेंगे कंप्लीट वीडियो लेक्चर मोर देन हंड्रेड वीडियो लेक्चर्स वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू नोट्स वो भी डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन के साथ टेस्ट सीरीज विद द डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन प्रीवियस ईयर पीडीएफ विद द डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द कोर्स इज वन ईयर और इसकी जो फी है वो इंक्रीज हो गई है और वो अब है सेवन थाउजेंड अगर आप ये कोर्स लेते हैं तो पेपर वन का जो कोर्स है वो आपको हम फ्री में प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं डोंट वेट फॉर द लास्ट मोमेंट डू ज्वाइन अवर कोर्स एंड क्लियर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम बीच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ होलसेल मार्केट हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे आक्स यू गिवन विच इज अ नॉट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द होलसेल मार्केट Now, what is a wholesale market? A market for the sale of a goods to the retailer. That is, a wholesaler receives the great quantity of a goods from the manufacturer and distributes them to the store, where, where they are sold to the consumers. The wholesaler is generally able to extract a better price from the manufacturer because it buys so many goods relative to the individual retailer. For this, the options given are: firms deal with the other firms. Second option is lending and borrowing is coordinated through the bank. Third option is borrowing and lending is not intermediary. And last option is very large quantity of money are at stake. Here the answer is option number B. That is. Lending and the borrowing is coordinated through the bank is not a characteristic of the wholesale market. In wholesale market, lender and the borrower deal directly, and the, there is no intermediated by the bank. Okay, so the bank is not playing any role here. So answer will be option number B. The next question here is which of the following is not a one of the quality which make a debt attractive to the firms for this the options given are the cost of the debt is generally less than the cost of the share capital and hence can lower the overall cost of the capital for the firm second option is debt interest only get up paid when the company is making the profit third option is it reduces the amount of a corporate tax payable by the firm by reducing the amount of taxable profit and the last option is the required return on the debt is lower because from the lender point of view debt is a less risky than the equity the answer here is option number b debt interest only get paid when the company is making the profit is not a quality which make a debt attractive to the firm Unlike the ordinary share dividend, which can be reduced or a suspended, or a preference dividend, which can be accumulated and carry forward, interest must be paid, or the firm may be in the trouble. Which of the following is not a money market instrument? Now, what is money market instrument? That you have to understand first. 
so here the money market is a component of the economy which provide a short term fund the money market deal with the short term loans generally for the period of a year or a less as a short term security become a commodity a money market become the component of the financial market for the asset involved in the short term borrowing lending buying and selling with the original maturity of a one year or a less trading in the money market is a done over a counter and in the wholesale for this the first option is bonds in a finance a bond is a type of a security under which the issuer the debt the debtors own the holder as a creditor the debt and the oblige depending upon the term to repay the principal of the bond at the maturity date as well as the interest over a specific amount of the time interest is usually payable at a fixed interval second option is treasury bills here the treasury bills is also called as t bills which are money market instrument are a short term debt instrument issued by the government of india and are presently issued in the three tenno namely the 91 days 182 days and 364 days treasury bills are a popular and a accessible from the investment third option is certificate of the deposit that is cd certificate of the deposit is a time deposit a financial product commonly sold by the bank the credit union cd differ from the saving account in that the cd has a specific fixed term and usually the fixed interest rate last option is commercial paper that is cp commercial paper is a unsecured short short period debt to be issued by the company usually for the finance and a inventories and temporary liability the maturity is the proper do not last longer than the 270 days here the correct answer is option number a that is bond is not the money market instrument which of the following is not defining the quality of the bond so from given which is not defining the quality of the bond the first option is dividend yield here the dividend yield or a dividend price ratio of the shares is the, is the dividend per shares dividend by the per share is also the company total annual dividend payment divided by its market capitalization assuming the number of a share is a constant it is often expressed as a percentage second option is maturity now what is a maturity maturity is a time period right maturity maturity is the date on which the life of a transaction or a financial instrument end after which it must either be renew or it will be cease to exist the term is commonly used for the deposit foreign exchange spot and a forward transaction interest rate and commodity swap options loan and a fixed income instrument such as a bonds third option is face value face value of the shares is a simple term is a value of the shares on the paper that is the original cost of the share the face value of the share is also known as nominal or a par value of the shares when it comes to the stock of a face value of the share it will be mentioned in the shares or a bond certificate issued and the last option is coupon payment frequency coupon payment frequency means how regular an issuer pay the coupon to the holder okay the correct answer here is option number a dividend yield is not defining the quality of the bond the next question here is as which type of a cash flow is an equity shares usually value for this the first option is an entity cash flow an entity cash flow either the income or a outgoing involving the same sum in which a period a entity is the payment or a receipt of a equal cash flow per period for the specific amount of the time second option is a risk free cash flow risk free cash flow to the firm is the amount by which a business operating cash flow exists the working capital need and the expenditure on the fixed asset 
third option is a perpetuity cash flow is an entity that has no end or a stream of a cash payment that continue forever and the last option is an erratic cash flow the cash flow can be defined as being a sequence of the revenue or expenses across the one or a more period irregular cash flow are also because they are unaccepted by the business and thus not taken into the account in their predictions here the correct answer is option number c the next question is under which of the following market efficiency regime will a technical analysis not guaranteed the abnormal return for this the first option is weak market efficiency weak from the efficiency is a one of the three different degree of a efficiency market hypothesis the weak from the efficiency also known as random work theory state that the future security price are random and not influenced by the past event second option is semi strong market efficiency semi strong from the market efficiency exists where the security price already reflect by a publicly available information and it is not possible to earn the excess return semi strong from the market efficiency lies between the two other form of market efficiency namely the weak form and a strong form and the last third option is strong form market efficiency a strong form of a market efficiency is a version of efficient market hypothesis there are three version of efficient market hypothesis and it is a thought of all the version it state that the stock price reflect by the information that exists in the market be a public or a private and the last option is all three so here under the weak form market efficiency it is not possible to use the prediction based on the past price data to make the abnormal return therefore the technical analysis will not work under this or either two other two stronger market efficiency regime therefore all three is the correct answer so option d is the correct so here the next question is volatility risk of a single asset is a usually measured by which of the following for this the first option is standard deviation standard deviation is a statistic that measure the disposition of the data set relative it's a means and the calculated as a square root of the variance second option is variance variance is a acceptation of the square deviation of a random variable from its a population means or a sample means third option is correlation a mutual relationship or a connection between the two or a more thing that is called a correlation and the last option is covariance in probability theory and statistic covariance is a measure of joint vari variability of a two random variable if the greater value of a one variable mainly correspond with the greater value of a other variable and the same hold for the lesser value it covariance is the positive So here the standard deviation is the correct answer for this question. Which of this is an appropriate measure of a dividend share risk? Okay. For this the options given are variance which I explain you in my previous question. Standard deviation is also explain you and correlation I have also explain you. So remaining is beta. Here in a finance a beta is a measure of how an individual asset move when the overall stock market increase or decrease beta is a useful measure of the contribution of an individual asset to the risk of a market portfolio when it is added in the small quantity okay the answer here for this question is option number b that is beta The next question is which of the following world stock exchange were in the top 5 by value of a transaction in 2009 for this the first option is london stock exchange 
The London Stock Exchange, that is LSE, is a stock exchange in the city of London, England, United Kingdom. Second option is Shanghai Stock Exchange. The Shanghai Stock Exchange is a stock exchange based in the city of a Shanghai, China. It is a one of the three stock exchange operating independently in the mainland China, the other being stock exchange and the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Third option is Daosh Bosch. Now here the Daosh Bosch AG or a Daosh Bosch Group is a German company offering a marketplace organizing for a trading of a shares and a other security. It is also a transaction service provider. And the last option is Hong Kong Exchange. The stock exchange of a Hong Kong is a stock exchange based in the Hong Kong. As of the end of 2020, it has the two, 2,538 listed company with the combined market capitalization. It is a reported as a fastest growing stock exchange in the Asia. The correct answer here is option number B that is Sangari Stock Exchange. Which of the following is not the characteristic of the preference shares? Here in this question they ask you given which is the not the characteristic of the preference shares. Now here what is preference stock or what is preference shares? The preference stock is the compound of a shares capital that may have any combination of a future not possessed by a common stock including the property of both an equity and a dev instrument and is generally considered a hybrid instrument. For this the first option is rent last for the payment in the event of a company liquidation. Second option is unpaid dividend occurs until it can be paid. Third option is do not usually have a voting right unless the dividend fall into the areas and the last option is it is a more like a debt than the shares in its characteristic. Some of the characteristics of a preference shares are preference shares have a dividend provision which is a cumulated or a non-cumulate. More share have a cumulate provision which means that any dividend not paid by a company accumulate. Most preference shares are a non-participating meaning that preference shares holder receive only his a stated dividend and no more. Preference shares do not normally confer the voting right. Most preference shares have a par value. When it does, the dividend right and the call share are usually stated in term of the par value. Okay, so these are some of the characteristics of the preference shares. The answer here for this question is option number A. Rank last for the payment in the event of a company liquidation is not the characteristic of the preference shares. So this question I asked you in my previous lecture. The question was under the factoring arrangement, the factor and the for this the options given were produce and distribute the goods or the services. Second option was make the payment on behalf of the client. Third option was collect the client debt or account receivable and the last option was transfer the good from one place to the another. For this question the correct answer is option number C. Collect the client debt or account receivable. Factoring is a service whereby a factor is responsible for all the credit control and the debt collection from the buyer and it also provides a protection from any bad debt loss to the firm. A business will sometimes factor its a receivable asset to meet its a present and a immediate cash needs. So here is the last question for today's lecture. The question is the sum of square deviation from the mean multiplied by probability describe which of the following. For this the options given are standard deviation, second is variance, third is correlation and the last one is covariance. Please answer this question. Write your answer in the comment box. I am waiting for your answer. Till then, keep watching, keep learning.